Hello crafty friends, Tanya here from Ink Responsibly and I'd like to share you, with you my Christmas card for 2017. And this is it here. So it's a three dimensional stepper card. And you've got the door that opens to reveal a message. And that's when the card is opened up and it will sit on its own. And on the back, you can write your personalised greeting. So let's get started. So to make today's card, we're going to need some Garden Green cardstock, Wild Wasabi, Whisper White, Sahara Sand, Smoky Slate, and some Real Red. And I've scored the Real Red at the long side at the top at two and three quarters, and at five and three quarter inches to create our Z fold. We're also going to need from Stampin' Up the Ready for Christmas bundle. So that gives us our tree, our dog, picture frames and at home with you bundle. Now on this one I've used my brick stencil and I've also used some embossing paste to create a textured brick. But on today's card, I'm going to show you a variation. Now I'm going to take my white craft ink and I've just put a little bit extra ink into the lid of my ink pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pounce on the stencil for my bricks. Now pouncing will give you extra texture that you don't get if you swipe. So when that's done, you'll see that we get quite a textured background and we get variations by pouncing on there. So I'm going to put this aside to dry and it will only take about 10 minutes. And in that time, we can prepare our embellishments. For the tree, what I've done is I have cut out three of these branches from the Ready for Christmas bundle out of wild wasabi and I've cut three out of the garden green and what I've done is I've alternated it on top of our tree die. So that creates our Christmas tree. For my staircase I have stamped onto soft suede cardstock with our hardwood background stamp to create that wood grain and then I've die cut that out. Now we need to do that two times so I've created a doorway wreath. We need to stamp and colour our little dash hounds. We need three of those. We need to colour in our pictures that are going to sit on the wall. And then we need to colour in a series of presents that are going to sit underneath the Christmas tree. as well as two Christmas stockings, a potted plant, and a wreath for our door. This is our door. Now I have stamped with Versamark onto Sahara sand cardstock, and then I have heat embossed in copper my doorway. And once you die cut it, you'll get an opening And for behind my door, I have just stamped and embossed in silver a sentiment. So first of all, I'll show you how the door goes together. So using a thin bead of glue, go around the three sides of the door frame. It's very important that we don't get any glue in here, otherwise our door won't open and close. 
and then place down your backing. Now the backing measures three and three quarters of an inch by two inches. So just push that down and just while the glue is still a little bit wet, make sure that your door opens properly. And the branches are just stuck down with glue. Now to prepare our staircase, one of them we're going to leave untouched. For your other staircase, what I'm going to do, you'll see there is an embossed line that runs down. What I'm going to do is just trim along that embossed line in a zigzag manner. And this bit we can throw away. Now the pieces that come out when we die cut our stairway, the pieces that come out from between the railings, we keep that because we're going to use that on the front of our steps. So when you've got your either embossed or inked brickwork, flip it over to the other side. And what we're going to do, we're going to take our complete staircase and we're going to line the edge of your staircase up with this score line here. And I'll just lift it up so you can see. So here is our six inch wide panel and here are our two shorter panels. We're going to line the reverse side of our staircase up with the reverse side of our cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace where the steps are. Long. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so I get the correct width of our step, I'm going to take one of the panels that came out of in there, and I'm just going to measure the width here. And that is where I'm going to line up my stairs again. So I'm going to trace along my stairs just as I did before. And we do it in pencil and we can erase it if we need to. So now our steps are the width of our panels that came out of our Ban our banister. So this is what you're going to have. We're going to cut from this point to that point in a single straight line. Like so. So this is where we're going to cut, from that point to that point. So this is what we're left with. So once we've scored, Where this point here, from this point here down, we're going to score a line. And you can do that either on your scoreboard or you can do it with a ruler and a stylus. So we're going to fold that back. So we have our zigzag. So that piece will come up and on every end of where you've cut, we're going to just fold it back until it resembles steps. And on this one, on this side, we're going to fold it the other way. So you're just folding each step 
along the lines that we drew. And this one along here. Now once we've done that, we've got our rough fold, we're going to just close our card. So you can see, here's the extra score line that I've created from where our, our cut stops. Just fold your card in and ease it into position, making sure that our edges of our cardstock remain straight. And it may not fold exactly where your score lines, where you folded first, but that doesn't matter. When it falls into this position, you're just going to use your bone folder and train that paper. And now we have steps. So now that we've roughly created our steps, we can start to decorate. So with some adhesive onto the back of your cut staircase, just slide that where your steps meet and glue that into position. And now we can take these cutout pieces and they are just going to glue onto here. And now we can glue on our full staircase. And the edge of your staircase is going to line up with this edge here. So now when we fold our card, it will fold flat. And there is our staircase. So now it's just a matter of decorating our embellishments. So using just a thin bead of glue, I'm going to pop my wreath. Now I've coloured all my stamped images using the new Stampin' Blends. Now the only piece that's waiting is an area to write our greeting. So if you wanted to, you could come along and erase these pencil lines. Alright, now I've taken a square of Whisper White and that measures five and one quarter inches by five and a quarter. And I've just done a bit of stamping and colouring onto that. Now it's very important we don't cover this whole piece with glue and then stick it down because if we do that 
we lose the 3D aspect of our card. So what I like to do is on the, I'll put adhesive on these two corners and oh, take your time, go back and check. And then I'm just going to pop a line of adhesive here. And just stick it down. So our card still pops up and we have room for a personalised greeting on the back. So there you are guys, I hope you like this tutorial and you try it as well. It's really really impressive to create a card like this and when it's broken down into small steps anyone can do it. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate your time, have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you soon, bye!